Okay, members and friends and creepers. I got my little blue piece of paper. Um, I didn't necessarily agree with the program because it wasn't really applicable to my situation. And I don't know what kind of planet I live on, but, you know, you go online and you look up the definition of child abuse and maltreatment of children and psychological abuse and emotional abuse and that type of stuff. And it's pretty, pretty clear, you know, it's, it's, it's written, you know, displaying an inability to control emotions or impulses, usually characterized by frequent outbursts. Well, you know, what about that time when my grandson had those crying seizures? That's pretty self-explanatory that, you know, he's being emotionally abused, ab abused and uh, psychologically abused, but when it's um, being done by social workers and foster uh, caregivers, it's, it seems to be okay. That's acceptable. Because, again, we don't know what they're really protecting him from. They didn't take him from my home because the home is dangerous or we were, weren't providing him with, you know, his food and clothing and, you know, shelter and that type of stuff. I mean, he definitely was number one in the house. You know, he was, he was you know first in line and and we loved him dearly and you know he got a lot of attention and a lot of stimulation in terms of activities and things to do and he was exposed to a lot of um, you know uh, uh, experiences like out in the park and doing some stuff with the kids in the restaurant and you know outside in the in the, in the um, up uh, by the re uh, health food store you know we did that little outside um, sidewalk um, festival um, what else do they have here? Uh, this, some of this stuff is kind of for him when he's older. Uh, being unresponsive to affection. That's something that his mom pointed out to me that uh, when she goes visits him, you know, um, he, it takes him about an hour just to realize that that's mom and that he can kind of move a little closer to her. You know, they only have a two-hour visit. And it takes him about an hour to warm up after he hasn't seen her for a while. And we already know he's forgetting his aunties, who basically helped to raise him. And I'm his nana, so he could very well be forgetting about me, too. Um, but these people that have him, they don't consider that to be child abuse. They don't consider it to be the maltreatment of a child. Um, acting lethargic and lackluster he's definitely developed that partly because we, we believe that you know they've been medicating him to control his behavior because the caregiver has already expressed that he's been acting out and that's due to the fact that he's being emotionally and psychologically abused as well as physically because he's being kept away from his family where he wants to be where he knows he's loved and cherished exhibiting panic and disassociative disorder, attention deficit, hyperactivity disorder, and post-traumatic stress disorder. He displays those things every time they notice, every time he sees, you know, one of the family members, whether it's his aunties or his mom getting ready to leave or it's time to leave, he doesn't want to put on his boots, he doesn't want to put on his jacket, he clings, he cries, you know, he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to be left behind. So he's expressing with his little 29-month-old ability to not really tell people what he wants. He can only act out and cry and cling on and trying, you know, he's tr he wants to come home with his family where he belongs. Why? Why are people not acknowledging that so social services is abusing my grandchild? I talk to different individuals Please, you know, you know, the only thing they were interested in was to see if he was being sexually abused, and then that was just brushed off. You know, it never followed up as to why the caregiver didn't didn't take him to the doctor sooner. We don't know how long he had his problem for. I'll talk to a lawyer. The lawyer is like, well, you know, you're eighty percent there, but you know, we can't promise you anything because. 
you know, I told them that I'm not necessarily getting along with them. I need a new office. If I'm dealing with social services, you got to appoint me a different social worker because I can't be dealing with these people. I'm sorry, you can't come into my house. Tear, out, tear, tear it apart. Because you've got some point to prove. I don't know what the hell point you were proving here. But you're definitely abusing my grandchild. And then expect me to fit it, sit there and say nothing about it. When it's in black and white. The symptoms are there. You know, long definition of it is all there. You can read. It's all there. You know, there's lots. That's, that's only one page. You know, I'm already starting to write it down. You know, I, I like to do things longhand. Right? You know, it's it's common sense. If people were doing this to the kids, social services would come in and take the kids away. So so why can't we take our kids back from social services? Like what gives them the right to abuse my grandson? Becomes more mistrustful of others and may be less willing to learn from adults. This is what they're teaching him. And that's a form of child abuse. He was openly and willing learning, learning all every day new words were coming out of his mouth when he was with me here. Every day was a new 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 words. Now he just scribbles. His mom said all he wants to do is color and scribble. That's it. Just scribble. He just scribbles. I got some of his scribbles around here somewhere. Here. Here's his scribbles. He just scribbling. That's it. That's all he's doing. He's just scribbling. You know? Then nobody teaching him ABCs. You know? His mom used to do A, 1, 2, 3, A, B. You know? This is just scribbling. He just scribbling. You know, he goes to daycare and he sits there and he scribbles. You know? Uh, they got, what, one worker for every six, seven kids? That's like school. You know, one teacher for 40 kids? What's he going to learn? Just scribble. And get angry, like his mind, mix up his mind, right? And they want to sit up there and say they're not abusing him, they're not neglecting him, they're not mistreating him, they're not maltreating him, they're not psychologically abusing him, you know? Any speculation of child sexual abuse, well, you know, that's been swept out underneath the rug, right? Because, you know, they took him to a doctor and everything's fine now, although none of us really know what the hell happened, you know? We just know that he didn't get the he didn't get the care when he actually needed it. You know, nobody was paying attention, which is child neglect. You know, she drops him off with a, the, the the caregiver drops him off with some jean jacket that she who knows where she got it from because we didn't give it to her. We gave him a nice warm warm winter jacket that for sure went with him when he went, and right up until the last time it was mentioned on YouTube. Next day, they show up with him, and he's in the jacket. All of a sudden, he's in his own jacket. But for the first few visits, no, it was some some little thin little jean jacket, driving around in the middle of winter time with a freaking jean jacket on. I'm like, what kind of nonsense is that? That's physical abuse. They're freezing him, you know, putting him in a in a van with with blacked out windows. So he can't even look out the window. He's got to sit in the back in some chair. You know, in the dark, as they're driving around town between daycare, uh, social service offices, and passing them around between, you know, uh, teens that he doesn't even know. You know, like a little monkey baby, just passing them around because the, the caregiver said to one of my daughters, Oh, well, don't worry. You know, my daughter's got him passing around with the kids. Everybody loves him. Everybody loves Andre. Well, yeah, so the foster caregiver's kids can pass him around. But my kids can't have him, even though it was my kids that helped to raise him. That's child abuse. That's child abuse against my kids, and it's child abuse against Andre. And everybody just wants to sit there with their, you know, mm, well, we're not going to talk about it because, you know, we don't believe what you're saying. There must be something wrong with you. Well, if there's something wrong with me, come and fucking lock me up then. You know, come and charge me with something. You know, just don't speculate. And, and and think you can use my grandson as some test subject so you can correlate it to some other study that they did, you know, years ago, right? Just to see if we're still in that mindset. The, these people are creating lifelong, psychological, damaging 
personality, mood altering issues with my grandson. This is only one page. It's in black and white. Child abuse is child abuse. Maltreatment of a child is maltreatment of a child. Okay? Social services and their human beings that walk around like fucking robots? Oh, what the hell? What, they're perfect? They don't abuse children? There's documentation that they have a long history of abusing children. But I guess they don't do that in Canada, right? I had some guy sit up there and say, Oh, I, I'm glad to be in Canada. Some African. You know, he's a counselor with his little program. I'm like, I'm not. I'm not glad to be in Canada. Because I, what, you, what, you, what, you, what, you, what, you go, go where the cockroach, go talk to those Africans. All those Africans don't like being in Canada. They're all just sitting there waiting for social services to come in there and swoop up their kids and leave them in the cockroach infested freaking apartments with nothing. And in the meantime, they just leave the kids there. And that's a form of child abuse, too. Because they damn well know those parents need help. At any rate. Child neglect. A guide for prevention, assessment, and intervention. Who do I call? The children's helpline? Direct to the social service office? With the social worker that took my grandson, saying, how can I help you? Yeah, right. 